Hey y'all, what's up? I'm back again. I'm back. I'm back again. <laughs> ten on the clock. Ain't number ten on the clock. Okay. K and P is back once again. Hold on, y'all. Oh, I got a song download in my head. Say, K and P, what is you doing today, ma'am? K and P is on the road today. I just feel like reading. What's up, y'all? What is going on, okay? I'm hearing a song download, but I'm going to save it to after I pray because you know I got to pray. But anyhow, 44 on the clock. If you're new to my channel, I read odd and even angel numbers. I don't just call those numbers out for nothing. Okay, spiritual birth. Uh-oh. I'm also a psychic medium. I'm able to connect with those who have crossed over. I don't read these tarot cards based off of these. Just the downloads that I get, okay? Anyhow, sometimes I read them off the meanings. Y'all know the routine. Anyhow, let's pray. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raziel, Archangel Raphael, I ask you to send your greatest white light and please give me clear and precise messages. Protect my crown chakra, protect my throat chakra, protect my heart chakra, protect me from any harm or entity that does not want me to speak. Archangel Michael, amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm seeing the spiritual cord in my head, okay? Yeah. So the song download that I was getting was Biggie, One More Chance. One more chance, Biggie, give me one more chance. First things first, whatever he said, I freaks, all the honeys, bunnies, playboy bunny. I don't know, honeys, playboy bunny, those big money. I don't know what the fuck he said. But somebody, uh-oh, there is a king of wands in the reverse here that feels like they, they somebody believes in their heart, mind, body, and soul that they deserve a second chance. Who the fuck is this king of wands in the reverse? Now, I don't know. Maybe they in the upright. Maybe they in the reverse, reverse. I don't know. But the energy that I'm getting is all over the place. Yeah, queen of wands. This could be some, damn, this could be, a, this could be somebody that's in a relationship. So this king of wands, I don't know if this motherfucker is in the upright or the, or the, you know what, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gonna try to figure out a little bit more about this one. We're gonna, we're gonna try to figure out about this buddy. Let's see, buddy. Now this king of wands right here could be a male Libra or, or no, that could be a fire sign. That's the king of swords. I don't know. That could be any fucking sign. Okay. But, um. I feel like this is somebody here that's kind of like Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. This is somebody that one minute they hate you, one minute they low vibration as fucks, the next minute they trying to do right, one minute they love you, and they in the king of wands upright trying to get to the emperor, okay? But I feel like somebody, is, somebody feels hurt and somebody feels betrayed by somebody that don't want them or that's not paying attention to them, that's unbothered by them. This motherfucker is attacking you. This is Mr. Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. I don't know why I'm seeing the Adams family in my head. I'm seeing like Beetlejuice. I'm seeing the Adams family. I'm in the Adams. What is that? The Adams family. I don't know. Is that the theme song? Somebody live in a chaotic house. Somebody's dealing with a lot of chaos and a lot of drama. Now, we got the Queen of Wands here. What Spirit is telling me this person could be married. Or this person could be in some type of committed relationship, long-term committed relationship. This could be a couple that's attacking somebody. Well, we already know that they're watching and stalking somebody here. Okay, with the page of storage. This is heavy watching and stalking. These two individuals, this king of wands especially. I feel like this king of wands is obsessed with somebody that's in the public eye. Star card here, Aquarius energy. Okay, but this person is married or this person is in a long-term committed relationship with somebody and both of these motherfuckers watch and stalk you with the page of swords. You could be an Instagram model. You could be, you could have a, be on some type of social media platform. I don't know what you do, but I'm hearing heavy emphasis on Insta, Instagram model. Okay, yeah, you could even be, I don't know what you do. You're just probably fine as fuck or handsome as fuck or whatever you is. This could even be some same sex here. Okay, I'm hearing, I wish it all the time to find out where you are. Moon card here. 
Oh Lord, somebody crazy as hell. Moon card, three of swords, uh, king of pentacles. Oh Lord, eight of wands here, star card here. Yeah, somebody is wishing and hoping. I feel this time with your makeup, baby. I feel this time that we should get back together. Somebody is a psycho. I'm seeing that movie Baby Boy in my head. He don't love me no more. <laughs> he don't love me no more. Get me out of here. <laughs> he don't love me no more. <laughs> Why am I picking up on two different storylines, y'all? So, the first storyline that I'm seeing is, is that there is a king of wands that's married. This bitch-ass nigga is married. But they they, they really a king of wands in the, in the reverse. This is somebody here. They're jo Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. This is the fucking Adams family. This, this, this bitch is married. This bitch is married to this queen of wands. Or Queen of Wands in the reverse. These are two low vibrational motherfuckers that operate in Jezebel energy, karmic ass energy. This person is married. This person is in a whole committed relationship, watching and stalking somebody with the Page of Swords here. That's in the public eye. Not only is this sick psycho ass motherfucker watching and stalking you, they bitch, they wife is watching and stalking you. <laughs> but. Spirit is telling me something is going to happen really fast to this person with the eight of wands. Here's somebody going to be taking the fuck out very fast, very quickly, because how you going to try to block and stop somebody? Somebody could be doing beauty magic. Somebody could be doing beauty spells here. I just keep hearing, wishing on a star. Somebody, you can, you can wish and hope and pray all the fuck you want, but you're not going to block or stop this person. Yeah, somebody working behind the scenes to do this shit with this moon card here twice. Somebody could be a cancer here. Somebody could be a water sign. Yeah, with the ace of pentacles, somebody is trying to block in somebody's death. Block and stop somebody's destiny that's in the public eye. Or maybe it's your destiny to be in the public eye. Somebody could definitely be an Instagram model here. Or somebody could have an OnlyFans. Or somebody feels like you should be an Instagram model. Or somebody wants to. Or somebody could have a fake account of you. Somebody could have an OnlyFans account of you. Or I don't fucking know. People is crazy. Why they always making these fucking accounts and shit? Trying to get money off of people and shit. And I don't know. Somebody is heartbroken over you. Now, how you gonna be heartbroken over somebody and you in a whole marriage? What the fuck is your wife or your husband at, fool? What, what, what is really going on? Okay, and I'm also picking up on another storyline, but I kind of lost train of thought about that one. Spirit, what the fuck was this other storyline that I just seen? Maybe it'll come back to me in a minute, or maybe all of this shit tied together. Ace of Swords here. Somebody want to come in and speak some type of truth to you? Y'all give me a second. I'm hearing too much drama for your mama. Somebody, I, I keep I keep seeing like the fucking Adams family in my head. I keep hearing the Adams family. I feel like there's a bunch of chaos here. There's a bunch of chaos in somebody's marriage or somebody's home. Okay. Whatever that other storyline is that I was supposed to say, if I ain't saying it, then it may, it must not be meant for me to say it. Because sometimes God uh, and intentionally have me lose my train of thought like that because it's something that he don't want me to say or there's something that he don't want me to do. So whatever I was supposed to say, I wasn't meant to say it. So we just going to stick to this, all right? I just keep hearing, I'm wishing on a star. And then I keep hearing, Biggie, give me one more chance. One more chance. Chariot card. Somebody somebody here really want to come towards you, but they married. Somebody is in a whole fucking relationship. Somebody is married or somebody is in a committed relationship or somebody wants you to join their organization or somebody wants you to join their team. Somebody really want to partner up with you. Somebody, somebody, somebody could be a part of some type of polygamy. Somebody could be in a pol angel number 923 on the clock. Somebody could be. So this married couple could like have side pieces that they both sleep with and they both fuck on. Somebody got bad hygiene here. Okay. Somebody got bad fucking hygiene here. I don't know. So basically this is a karmic couple here that could be watching and stalking. I don't care. I don't care if you a man or a woman. You could even be a gay male. 
I don't know what she is. You can be a man or a woman, but there is a couple here that want you. They want you to join their organization. They want you to join their team or they want to fuck on you. They want you to live in their house, live in their home. And somebody is mad because not, it's not working. Somebody is mad because you don't want to join the organization or join their relationship and be a, thir a third party. Somebody just mad. Yeah, you could be an empress. I just passed it. Somebody wants you to be a part of their team or a part of, yeah, that, somebody, oh my fucking God. So that's what it is. Again, so whatever that other download was, I guess it wasn't meant for me to say. Or maybe it ties into whatever the hell I'm saying. Now, listen. There's a king of wands out here that's up in their motherfucking head. They frustrated because they're watching and stalking you. Somebody that could be an Instagram model. Somebody that could be in the public eye. Somebody that's headed to their destiny. Somebody that's headed to the ace of pentacles. Somebody is mad because their money can't buy you. Somebody is heartbroken and, and fighting over you with they bitch. Somebody is working behind the scenes. Somebody could be stalking and watching you driving past your home. Somebody is just, I don't know. Somebody is a fucking loser here. And they up in their head about this he this motherfucker is up in their head and they bitches up in their head okay because somebody is mad because you don't they can't destroy an empress somebody wants a empress to be a side piece i left home home to be with my side piece okay I don't know. Empresses are not side pieces empresses don't operate in side piece energy empresses are bosses if they not going to be the main chick, matter of fact, empresses are not even the main chick. They're the only chick. Empresses don't operate like this. Male and ma masculines don't do it either. If they not the only nigga, ain't, ain't, none of them, ain't nobody sharing. Ain't nobody trying to catch STDs around here. Because I told you, this motherfucking bitch right here, somebody here got some bad hygiene. I smell you. I smell you, woman. You need to go fix that. Yeah, somebody wants somebody wants some new P-U-S-S-Y in the house. I feel like somebody living that. This is a fucking Adams family. It's a bunch of witchcraft and spell work going on. Rats and roaches and bed bugs. Somebody baby mama or wife with the queen of wands and the emperor. This is definitely this person baby mama or wife. Bitch, you need to clean up your house because I'm seeing this shit. It's dirty. You got roaches and rats and bed bugs and all that kitchen magic and spell work that you're doing. Bitch, you need to clean your motherfucking house up, okay? Because this emperor's just off of that. Now, don't get me wrong. This Empress ain't coming to your house, no way. Divine Feminine ain't coming to this house, no way. But you know what I'm saying? She might have, I mean, she ain't gonna visit at all. But I mean, I'm just saying, at least you could have, you know, if, you, if you're gonna try to persuade somebody, bitch, at least clean up your house first. At least get rid, rid of the roaches and the bed bugs. And the rats and the rodent and the snakes and the serpents, whatever the fuck. You got all type of animals and rats and roaches and hamsters and penguins and motherfucking giraffes and orangutans. I don't know what the fuck you got in there. Oh, spirit told me that this is the fucking zoo. Y'all running a goddamn zoo in here. Y'all think y'all running a motherfucking hoe house. This ain't no motherfucking hoe house. This is a zoo. Because I feel like whoever this motherfucking king of wands is, you trying to be a motherfucking pimp. You trying to run a whole house, you holding these, you holding several females hostage. I'm hearing underage girls, and you feel like you and your bitch is going to get a hold of Empress hostage? You feel like so Empress, Divine Feminine, uh-huh. Or this could be a gay male, I don't know, because somebody go both ways. Both of these motherfuckers like the same sex, and both of these motherfuckers could be itching and burning, or sweating, or shaking, or something, because somebody got an incurable STD around here, or they keep getting STDs that are curable but i feel like if these motherfuckers don't stop picking up people off the street and hoeing and fucking and sucking that they gonna catch something incurable if not already and they trying to give it to a divine feminine divine feminine ain't finna join this this pimps up and hoes down shit i feel like somebody really feel like they a real pimp somebody really feel like this is this is a y'all ain't never seen that movie pimps up and hoes down go google it go watch it on youtube somebody even talk like a real pimp you know what i'm saying i'm a real player you know come get with a real player you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm saying you no know, you need to choose a real player you know what i'm saying and don't nobody ain't no emperor ain't no empress finna join this shit and i'm being damn fucking serious bitch you need to clean up this house need to be clean i feel like somebody you're not running the you're not a pimp Somebody trying, this king of wands is trying to be a pimp and this queen of wands is trying to be a madam and you want to get an empress on your team? Hell no, this is bullshit. Ain't nobody finna join this organization. Ain't nobody finna join your time. I'm hearing somebody actually want to come up to you with some pimp shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You need to choose a real player. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? You know you choose a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? You need to blow up a cold, a meal, barbecue, a meal, dude. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know who the fuck... <laughs> Yo, 
ain't trying to make a joke out of this. I'm being dead fucking serious. It's a mask from out here that think he a pimp. And I feel like this motherfucker, you're not running a whole house, my nigga. You're running a zoo. Not only are you running a zoo, you're running a zoo full of young girls, underage girls. I feel like you can't get no emperors. You can't get no real women to sit in this bitch, nigga. You're not a boss. You're not an emperor. You're not a king. You're not a real man. You ain't no motherfucking player, a real boss, a real emperor. And I, and, and I know that y'all gonna wear me out in the comment section. Oh, K &P, a real man is not a real man if he has many women. I'm sorry, ladies. I have to disagree. Now, me personally, I'm not finna date no goddamn man that mess with different women. I'd rather be with one man and we be together and we be a team and live happily ever after. But... A man has a choice if he wants to have multiple women, but that does not mean he need. Uh, if a man has multiple women, if that's his choice, he needs to maintain them, meaning all of them know about each other. He's not a cow coward. All of them are being taken care of. If he has many wives, all of them are being taken care of. All of them, are, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be a part of no shit like that, but I mean, a lot of dudes are, they into that type of shit. But that's not pimping. That's somebody that has chose to have many wives. Okay, they do it in Africa and all different countries all the fucking time. But whoever the fuck this motherfucker is, they 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 don't have it. They don't got the skills. Somebody can't even. They don't. Somebody is too weak and insecure. Somebody cannot bag an empress. Yeah, this bitch ass nigga is trying to bag an empress. This this bitch ass nigga do not have the tools or the yeah somebody and I feel like somebody could be a woman beater too because I feel like anytime one of these young ass girls or one of these hoes step out of line, this bitch will this motherfucker will slap the shit out your ass. Somebody is trying to get an empress to join their organization or their whole house. What the fuck do you think this is? And I feel like, yeah, this king of cups here that's in love with an empress. Really a king of cups in the reverse of creep. Okay, somebody here that yeah, I keep hearing, I left home to be with my side piece. Yeah, three of wands here. So whoever this empress is, divine feminine, or you could be a man. Somebody's trying to mess up your future. Somebody could even be trying to cause you to be broke, homeless, assed out. Somebody's trying to manipulate your life so they can come in and save the fucking day and, and move you in. They, they, they move you in the Adams family home. This motherfucker wants you to move in their house with their wife. Or they, or they girlfriend that they've been in a, a common law married to. And a bunch of other these young girls. Because it's a bunch of young girls that live in this house. They underage. This man can't get real women. This man don't got the, they, he don't got the mouthpiece. Matter of fact, no pimp has the mouthpiece to get an empress. I want y'all to do me a favor. Maybe I need to put the movie in the description box. Because it's on YouTube. It's called Pimps Up and Holds Down. And those pimps in the documentary... If you go, what's an old ass documentary? In that documentary, those pimps will even tell you out of their own mouth. It's a certain type of woman you have to break down. Whoever the fuck this is, that's how I know you motherfucking stupid, my nigga. I'm finna break some shit down for you. I didn't watch Pimps Up, Hoes Down. I don't know how many times. I love that motherfucking documentary because it's funny. It's funny as fuck to me. I love to give me some wine sometimes and watch Pips Up and Hoes Down because I can't believe that these motherfuckers are really out here living like that. These people really out here living like that. Shit funny to me. I ain't. It ain't my life. But that's how I know you're an uneducated wannabe pimp. The pimp niggas in that movie, Pimp Snooky, Pimp, pimp and Ken, uh, I forgot, uh, Don Magic Wine. All them motherfucking niggas, they will tell, they, they even said it in the documentary. They was like, it's a certain type of woman that you, you can't pimp a real one. You can't just go up to any woman. You can't just go up to somebody in the grocery store and say, hey, I'm going to be your pimp and choose up and uh, choose down or whatever the fuck y'all, that pimp shit y'all. You can't just go up to any woman. You can't do an empress like this. Bitch ass nigga, you trying to break down an empress to be, what is you on? Even in, in the documentary, Pimps Up, Hoes Down. They even said, all the pimps said the same shit. It's a certain type of woman you got to approach. Young girls. Somebody that's looking for a father figure. Somebody that ain't never, never had a daddy in their life. Or they was molested or they was abused. And that's what the fuck you do. Because ain't nobody in this whole house but young girls. And your wife is a freak. That fucking suck on these young girls. You a motherfucking freak. You fucking young boys on the side and you feel like you're going to bring an empress into your whole house. This dirty bitch, first of all, let's go back to this dirty ass house. You got roaches and rats and bad bugs. How you going to have all these hoes? Because really, let's talk about it. You got babies. These are babies. 
I wouldn't be surprised if you got a 17 year old or a 60, a runaway living in your house, bitch. No wonder this house ain't clean. Your wife, she supposed to be a so-called madam, but she ain't running shit. You would think if, the, if this bitch is supposed to be the, so I bet, I guess this bitch is supposed to be the, in control of the house, in control of the girls while you go sell dope or run the streets or be a pastor or a preacher or a fuck. What the fuck do y'all got going on? What the fuck are you doing, sir? I feel like, sir, and I feel like this bitch is fat and ugly or skinny and orangutan looking and jealous and ugly of the girls because they look better than her. Somebody don't know how to run shit. I feel like somebody, one minute they want to fuck on the young girls and the next minute they want to cuss them out and slap them in the face. Both of you motherfuckers going to jail. Y'all going to jail. I ain't lying. I left home. Home. To be with my side piece. You ain't you ain't coming to this divine feminine's house. You ain't going to this goddamn divine wanna be a pimp. Wanna be a baller. Shot caller. You ain't running no type of play. You ain't you ain't handling. You ain't running shit. But the, I don't know. Where the fuck are you from? Are you from some little small town? Somebody could be from Mississippi. Somebody could be from Arizona. Somebody can be from the Carolinas. Somebody is from somewhere. But I feel like you don't live in the big part of town. You live in a small fucking town. I feel like in, you're not running a whole house, my nigga. You're running a zoo. Because I feel like all these motherfucking hoes that live with you and your wife or your baby mama, that y'all, all these motherfucking hoes look scary in the face. They look, some of them missing their teeth or their eyes or their nose or their lips. And I ain't trying to talk about nobody because we all got flaws. You feel what I'm saying? But I feel like these women are not up to par. Are these little boys or these, I don't know. It's some human trafficking going on here. These people are not up to par. I feel like you can't even afford, I feel like you got to tell, I feel like somebody, what, what the fuck is going on? What the hell? What, what the hell did I pick up on tonight? This is supposed to be the rest of the, the last reading of the night. What the hell did I pick up on? I'm seeing what you're doing, sir. Sir, I feel like you can only, I feel like you don't got that much. Maybe you do got a lot of money, but I feel like you're trying to pay the bills. You're trying to take care of the kids. Then I feel like you tell one of your hoes that you can only get her hair done on Friday. Then somebody throw a fit and you knock her all upside the head and drag her in the room and beat the shit out of her. And I don't know, man, your daddy really screwed you up in the head. Whoever the fuck you are, sir, I'm seeing it in my third eye. Your daddy used to beat on your mama in front of you or beat you up or something. I don't fucking know, but you take your aim. Whatever your daddy did to you or sexually abused you or beat on you, whatever your father did to you, sir. Because I feel like some there's a mask in that here. You used to watch your mama get beat on. That's why you beat on women. That's why you want to control women, Ike Turner. Left a good job down in the city. I'm picking up on Ike Turner again. Working for the man every night and day. Big wheel, keep on turning. I'm picking up on Ike. Proud Mary, keep on burning, and we're rolling, 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 yeah. <laughs> Your ass up under, under judgment. Your motherfucking ass is up under judgment, beating on these young girls. Let's talk about it. Whatever this whole house, whatever this pimp shit that you trying to do. You, you're trafficking, you and your wife, you and your bitch is trafficking younger. These are babies. Some of them are runaways. I'm seeing this shit, you pervert. I just seen the queen of pentacles. These are, I feel like somebody, I feel like a few of your hoes, a few of your hoes, they mamas is looking for these young girls. These are runaways. They probably ran away from different states and different towns. What the fuck is you got going on? So you finna go to jail for money laundering, human trafficking. It's probably the past and the first lady I've been picking up on. You finna be in the Father Pentacles, bitch. You finna lose everything, especially if you trying to attack a divine feminine. Somebody that could be in the public eye. Somebody that don't want your motherfucking ass. You not you slow, nigga. I, that's how I know you not a real pimp, nigga. You're Jerome. Yeah, let's talk about it. You're Jerome from Martin. I say Jerome in the house. Watch your mouth. That's who the fuck you is. You're not pimping Ken. You're not pimp Snooky. You're not motherfucking Don Magic Wand. You ain't none of that shit. You a wankster. What, what, what is that song? Uh, I got the magic stick. And I'm not talking about sex. I'm just saying. Pimp, pimp, you ain't none of that. You, 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 you're a wankster. You say you a gangster, but you never pop. No, you ain't. What are you doing? I don't 
don't even know who you is. I just want to know what's going on. What the fuck is going on? All these goddamn hoes. Three of cups here. All these goddamn female. All these goddamn spell work in this motherfucking house. Yeah, prince. Yeah, you a prince of pentacles and a motherfucking prince of wands. You ain't even no motherfucking king of pentacles. You ain't even no motherfucking uh king of wands. Bitch, you a prince of pentacles and a prince of a prince of pentacles. I mean a prince of wands and a prince of pentacles that's attacking a divine feminine or somebody that's in the public eye that got a OnlyFans or got an Instagram or on social media or whatever the fuck. And you could be a whole ass pastor. That I've been picking up on. Yeah, you could be some, you could be in the public eye. I don't know, but your bitch ass is going through karma. You about to face judgment. You're probably already on the tip of the iceberg of facing judgment, if not already trying to block and stop somebody happiness. There it go. Five of Pentacles again. Your ass is broken, assed out, or you're finna be. Oh, now you want to call the truce because you're being laying down on your back. Now you want to, now you want to change. Now you want to grow. Now you want to evolve. Now you want to try to be an emperor. Now you want to get it right with the most high God because you about to experience a death. I told your bitch ass you up under judgment trafficking these young girls. Some of these goddamn young girls are runaways. Oh, you're worried and you're shaking in your boots and you're, you don't know. I'm, you finna go to jail. If you don't know you're going to jail, because I feel like this is the type of motherfucker that's so slow. They trying so hard to be in the Ace of Pentacles. They, you're a thief, bitch. You a motherfucking thief, bitch. And everybody in the community know her. They finna know because it's finna be on the news. It's about to go viral. It's an investigator. While you sitting back watching and stalking somebody that's in the public eye of Empress. While you sitting back taking and stealing and trying to rob. There's an investigator, a federal agent that's watching fucking you. Or this Empress can have a divine counterpart that know every motherfucking thing that you doing, bitch. You're not getting money, bitch. You're losing money. While you trying to be in the Ace of Pentacles. Nigga, you in the, the nigga, you lose failure. Seven of Pentacles, bitch. You need to trust your intuition and stop human trafficking young girls. You and your uh, your sorry ass, fat, sloppy ass, or skinny ass orangutan wife. You ain't no motherfucking gangster. You ain't no motherfucking pimp, my nigga. You a waster. You a bitch. Bitch made ass nigga. And yeah, ten of swords. Yo, thieving ass nigga that's finna go to jail. Like the fuck I said, bitch ass nigga trying to become a wealthy man. Trying to attack divine feminines and shit. Trying to break a real woman down, a real queen down, a real empress down. Nigga, fuck you, nigga. Bitch ass nigga. You say you a gangster, but you never pop nothing. No, wasting ass nigga. You been hustling a long time and you ain't got nothing. Nigga, you a prince of wands and a prince of pentacles. And go get some help. Go go seek medical help with your depressed ass. With your schizophrenic and with your crazy ass. I'm seeing what you do be beating on these little, little girls. I, mean, I, I guarantee you, if I was a motherfucking feds, because the feds is already across the street. That's why they watching your motherfucking house. They also watch your little church, your little cults. They watching everything you. They taking pictures of you. They got binoculars. They got all of that. They watching you right now when you get this motherfucking message. How about that, nigga? I wish I was alive. I wish I was alive. Shit, dumbass nigga, dumb and beating on these little, some of these girls are runaways. I wouldn't be surprised if one of your girls that live in your house is underage, 17 or 16. And every time I feel like you don't even, bitch, you're a prince of pentacles. You're not a, it may be, if you used to be a king of pentacles, you, you're losing money. You ain't going to be, you, you ain't going to be able to do shit. You can't even maintain your hoes. You can't even get their hair fixed and their nail fixed. Motherfucking rest in peace, Jerry Springer. But go watch some go watch some old Jerry Springer episodes with pimps up when the when those pimps came on the episode of Jerry Springer in what 96, 94? Them old school pimps. Now don't get me wrong, they was old school pimps. They would knock the shit out your ass. But them old school pimps, Don Magic Wand and all of them motherfuckers, all they hoes is somewhere straight. Okay, them old school pimps put a bitch on their feet. They had hoes. They ran a hoe house. But most of them, most of them old school pimps, all the women that they ever fucked with was living in, but had had everything they want. They taught them how to be independent and take care of themselves and every motherfucking thing. You don't know how to be nobody motherfucking daddy. And the, you don't know nothing about the, the pimping game. I don't fucking know because I don't know either. But I know enough from watching pimps up and hoes down. My nigga, yo, spell right now. But bitch, man, clean up this goddamn house. House. Then you getting these hoes pregnant. Yeah, you like Pimp Snooky. You finna go to prison just like Pimp Snooky motherfucking ass. You know what I don't like about you niggas? I'm gonna tell you what I don't like about you niggas. Get a job, nigga. That's what I don't like about you niggas. Get a fucking job, bitch. This ain't 1985. 
This ain't 1980. This ain't 1984. You must be a crack baby that I'm talking to. Your mama's on the crack rock. Your mama and your daddy was on the crack rock. I don't fucking know, nigga. I'm not trying to disrespect you. I'm just speaking that real shit. Get a, get a job, my nigga. Go go to work. You, you too ashamed to go get a job at like a regular nine to five? You know what I'm saying? I would, you know, I understand selling dope a little bit. You feel what I'm saying? I can kind of cut you some slack a little bit when it comes to that. But when you trafficking young girls, runaways, kids, taking advantage of young girls, and you think you're going to take advantage of an empress? Get a job, my nigga. You too ashamed. You must be a nigga that's been in and out of jail all your life. A jailbird, a prison bird, a songbird prison song because that's what the fuck you finna be you probably didn't been turned the fuck out because you like little boys not only do you like little girls you like little boys something ain't i feel like your mind ain't been stopped in time something ain't right with you you retarded you're slow you're stupid and you're dumb i don't give a fuck who i'm talking to you finna get you finna hear this shit today you're weak as fuck human trafficking young girls and shit you say you a gangster, but you never pop you. Oh, bitch ass nigga. You will never, and let me tell you something, you will never get to the Ace of Pentacles. You gonna watch this Empress be with a wealthy man, or this Emperor be with a wealthy woman, you gonna watch them be in the Ace of Pentacles, probably from a TV screen, in a jail cell, in a federal pr prison, doing day for day, because you're also a fucking thief, bitch. Oh, thieving ass. Attacking a chosen one, an official person. That's really why you getting your motherfucking shit, my nigga. Running this motherfucking whole house. You already know you're going to jail. You're concerned and you're worried. But back to what I was saying. I have a little bit, a tad bit, a little bit more respect for you because you're out here selling dope. You know, I don't know. But when you it come to human trafficking, young girls and shit, I don't got no motherfucking respect for you. They need to throw your ass up under the jail. Now, if you human trafficking grown women, I kind of still got a little bit more respect for you because, you know, that's they grown grown. That's their choice. You know, so they already been caught up in life, but you praying on babies. Girl, look, I got girls, bitch. I don't play that type of shit. And I'm speaking for experience. And when I say I'm speaking from experience, I ain't never been no prostitute. I ain't never been no hoe. I ain't never sold my body by the grace of God. Any type of trials or tribulations that I ever been through, I held on to the most high God. But I can relate. When I was younger, when I was in my teenage years, I used to date older men. Not because I was fast. Not because I was promiscuous. But slow motherfuckers, fucked up ass niggas like you preyed on me. You're fucking pedophiles and you're fucking wolves. And it's sad. Especially in the black community. In the black community, the, the, we got fathers out here that's not protecting their fucking daughters. But they always going around calling people hoes and bitches and sluts and shit. But I don't see now one of you motherfuckers with a shotgun in your hand. I'm going to tell you something right now, bitch. I'm a, I'm a woman. And I got girls. And the first motherfucker to come up to my, the first motherfucking wolf. Because I call them wolves. Because they wolves in sheep clothing. The first motherfucking wolf do anything to my motherfucking da daughter. Get her pregnant, talk to a crazy bitch. I don't give a fuck. It's going to be a shotgun motherfucking wedding, bitch. And I'd be so glad, I'd be so motherfucking glad when they bring back shotgun weddings. The quicker that they bring back shotgun weddings, the quicker that it ain't going to be no people getting having babies out of wedlock. It ain't going to be motherfuckers running off, leaving big people pregnant and blowed up. It ain't going to be none of that shit. I dare a motherfucker. I can't wait. I dare a motherfucker to get my daughter pregnant. I'm a, it's going to be a motherfucking shotgun wedding, bitch. I'm going to knock on your mama, though, your daddy, though. Papa was a rolling motherfucking stone. Wherever he laid his hat was his home. And when he died, why the fuck you think the Temptations made that song? Let me break it down for y'all because maybe I didn't talk about this before on my channel, but maybe I need to go the fuck back. Why the fuck do you think the Temptations did that song? What was they talking about? They was talking about how them old school men used to make babies with women and run the fuck off. He was a rolling fucking stone. But why did they call him a rolling stone? They called him a rolling stone because he couldn't show his face in that town. Because back in the day, back during the civil rights movement in the Great Depression in the early 1800s and 1900s and whatever the fuck. If you got, if you got a, girl, a young girl pregnant and you tried to run off and you tried to walk off, her daddy was going to come see about you, bitch. Nigga.
Her daddy was gonna come see about you, and her daddy was gonna say, "Nigga, I know you the you, you you I know my now I know now she blowed up now. Her belly is big. She blowed up now. Make sure y'all hit the like button. She blowed up. Her belly is big, and I know she didn't do it by herself. So what you gonna do? What you gonna do now? What you gonna do? You gonna take care of the baby? What you gonna do? And he didn't that who whoever that man was. He had to get him a bag. If he if he decided in his mind that he wasn't going to step up and take care of that baby, he had to get him a bag. He had to get him a stick or a suitcase or whatever the fuck he had. Back then, you know, especially in the South, Mississippi. So somebody can live in the South here. Somebody could be from the Carolinas. Somebody could be from Mississippi or whatever the fuck. Alabama. Back in them times, they was dirt poor. They ain't had no money. They was singing in the juke joints and, and still sharecropping and picking cotton and picking tobacco. They ain't had no money for no motherfucking shoe case. They had to get them a bag and get them a stick and take their belongings and tie it up and get the walking and get the chilling. And they better be gone before dawn. They better be gone before midnight. Because if you didn't, that the, her daddy was going to shoot your ass and kill you or one of her uncles or one of her cousins or her brother. If he was old enough, shit, they had little boys ready to do it. Back in them times, I'm channeling right now. I'm Nefertiti reincarnated. I had a past life in the motherfucking 30s. What you think this is? And I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth. Real, I got girls. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. I'm telling every, I, I, I'm, but uh, yeah, you little motherfucking niggas. Come, I, I, I can't wait. Ooh, I can't. It's going to be, you better get, I'm telling you women. I'm telling you women. You better get your sons ready. You better get your motherfucking sons ready because it's going to be some shit. I'm a gangster. I'm a real live gangster. And I ain't I ain't from nobody hood. I grew up in the suburbs, but I ain't lying. I just can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, Lord, I can't wait. I didn't got sidetracked. Y'all got me fucked up out here, human trafficking, young girl. And clean up your house, my nigga. You want, you want an empress to come to this field? This is the Adams family. I feel like you getting these hoes pregnant. You don't know something. You forgetting they do dates. You beating up, you beating them upside their head when they want to get their hair and their nails done. Now, how you going to put somebody on the track? How you going to get somebody? To, you ain't even keeping your hoes up. How you going to, you, I mean, their hair ain't done. Their nails ain't done half the time. You can barely pay the bills. There's roaches and rats and bugs and this shit. Nigga, sit your ass down. You ain't motherfucking Don Magic Wine. You ain't motherfucking, you don't got a magic stick. You ain't motherfucking uh, Pimpin' King. You ain't motherfucking, you ain't doing shit. You you need to stop. The, that shit is over with. Pimpin' King don't even pimp no more. Pimpin' King writing books and shit and doing interviews. And mother, get a bitch ass nigga, go watch Pimps Up and Hoes. Go watch Pimps Up Hoes down. That's what the fuck you do. Go watch pimps up and hoes down. You trying to you trying to get an empress on your team. You trying to get an empress to join your organization or your pimps your pimp house or whatever. Your and, I, I, and your wife is beating it. I don't know. Your wife is jealous of these hoes. They she jealous of these empresses. That she a copycat hoe. Or, I, I don't fucking know. Pimps up and hoes. You ain't no you, Jerome from Martin. I say Jerome in the house. Watch your mouth. That's exactly who you is. You ain't no good. And, and, and somebody talk just like a motherfucker. I feel I picked up on you a long time ago, sir. I picked up on your ass a long time ago. I'm here in Tabernacle. Preach. Yeah, you, this could be the pastor. I picked up on your ass. Oh, I didn't picked up on you before. You know, come fuck with a real player, you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? You need to choose a real player, you know what I'm talking about, you know, you know, choose up, you know what I'm saying? You, you, either you either gonna barbecue a meal, do you know what I'm talking about? I'm a real pimp, I'm a real pimp. I don't know who the hell you is. I keep getting all these goddamn weird channelings today. <laughs> bye, sir. Bye, sir. That's all I'm gonna say is bye, sir. Goodbye, sir. Because you finna go to jail. You and your, and you and your karmic ass wife is up under judgment. Y'all going to jail. I mean, you know, the judicial system might have been a little light on you. The, the, the judicial system might have been a little bit light on you. But, you know, you're, tra you're human trafficking babies. Young girls, bitch. Kids. Runaways. Man, fuck you. You stuck like Chuck, my nigga. Fuck you. Whole ass nigga. Human trafficking young girls, babies and shit. You and your sorry ass, funky ass, fishy ass, retarded ass wife that can't even keep y'all house clean and you stealing and taking from an empress, empress stalking somebody in the public eye, somebody that's on OnlyFans or got an Instagram or on YouTube or Facebook or TikTok. Nigga, fuck you. Pimps up and hoes down my ass. You finna be laid the fuck down in a prison cell, in a prison cell, excuse, excuse me, spiritual birth.
Oh, ho ass nigga. Anything else, spirit? I think that's it. That's it. Nigga, you up under judgment. You and your sorry ass wife. And again, let me tell you this again. You ain't gonna never get to the Ace of Pentacles, bitch. You gonna watch this chosen one. You gonna watch this empress or this emperor be in the Ace of Pentacles with their with their real divine counterpart, bitch. And you better be careful if you watching and stalking the empress because somebody real divine counterpart, they know about you. They got real motherfucking now. Whoever the fuck this, this emperor is, that's watching this fake ass King of Wands in the reverse wanna be pimp. Whoever this real emperor is, this this real divine counterpart of this empress, this is a real motherfucking boss. This is that, this is that nigga. This is that. Well, I don't know where the emperor card at, but that's that nigga that'll get this nigga will get you touched for real. Nigga, this is a this is a real gangster. Nigga, fuck you. Ho ass nigga. Everybody gonna see your ass. This shit gonna go viral, bitch. Human trafficking, babies. Fuck you, nigga. Bitch, fuck, man, bye, y'all. Like, subscribe, and share. Thank you, and goodbye.